everybody. Welcome, just in time for our next 10 videos. Come on in, let's go. Hello everybody, I'm Larry, the Pin Bug Guy, and welcome for another exciting episode on Larry's Fountain Pens. Cool. Before we go into the pin review, I just want to show you what's going on real quick. Uh, and something that's not new, and I, I, I want to show you the ink samples. Can you get a good look at them real quick? Uh, this is nothing new, and I didn't copy anybody. Uh, I've been doing this since I got into the uh, fountain pen world. But I stopped doing it because I couldn't find any reinforcement to, to get the job done. And I bought two different boxes, but they won't work if the uh, reinforcement is slick. And the reason that I think they're uh, slick because it gives more reinforcement to secure the paper that has ripped for your notebook. So, as you can see, this is how it looks with the uh, reinforcements of these types. It doesn't work. And here's the ones I just got in today that, that do work very well. And they're very, very affordable. So you're saying that this is the side that doesn't have it? Right. Yeah, All you the, can yeah, yeah. definitely tell a difference. Yeah. And uh, I have reinforcements on these three, but not on the rest. But I just wanted to show you all. But, you know, I'm not copying anybody. There, uh, I think Goulet showed this. But, you know, I'm not copying him because, like I said, I've been doing this for some time. I just quit doing it because they look like that. And I said, you know, what, what the heck? But... Uh, what re-sparked my flame was when I saw Goulet doing it, and I said, you know what, I need to find the right reinforcements for it. And I finally did, and I got them, and they're called Silver Fingers on eBay, and they're really affordable. Uh, they're uh, for... How many of them? 308 paper hole reinforcement labels are $2.91. That's everything right out the door. Okay? So that's pretty cheap. For 308 count, that's reasonable. And again, if you're interested in doing this, I would recommend it because it really works. Okay, let me set this aside, and it's time for a pin review. All right. First of all, this pin is on loan, and I'll give it back to Mr. Doug. Still wagon. Thank you, Doug, for loaning me your pin for a little bit. Uh, you may have seen a review like this already that I've done previously, but that's okay. This is for people that maybe have just come into my channel and have found me or for new people that have been in the fountain pen world that are just now getting their feet wet and they're ready to take the step from the $50 range from the $100 or less range and maybe now that 100 between 100 150 dollar range so what I'm going to do one here is uh it's the Edison Collier Blue Steel, and it comes in the sleeve like this, and here's the, the little uh, pin box it comes in, really a nice looking little pin box, really sharp, and I, I like pin boxes myself, and now uh, here is the pin, I already have it out, and I'll open this up, and this is what it looks like inside, converter, a cartridge, and you get a book, uh, marker of two different types, and that's pretty slick, isn't it? So that's what I like about Edison's. And uh, Edison does a really outstanding job in their fountain pens. They really do. Uh, they 
put a lot of pride in these pens and when they write you can feel that pride they put in it. So now we'll talk about this beautiful blue steel. It's an Edison blue steel. The Edison Collier is a resin plastic but it's resin with silver clip. I like that. Nice looking clip. And a very nice polished number six Jowo nib. And it uh, has the Edison logo engraved on the nib. And can you see that? Let me know if you can focus that in. Do I need to go higher? Lower? Uh, we're just right there. Okay, that's the best I can get it. But we'll take some pictures of it at the end and post them. And uh, uh, this pen accepts a standard international converter, which is included, or standard international cartridge. And I'll go ahead and open it up because it does have a diamine cartridge in there. And it's just about out of ink. It's a beautiful blue steel resin. It really does. On my end, it just, it just sings beauty. Uh, it's just a great pen. Um, for the folks who love an eyedropper pen, this pen would, with a little bit of silicone grease, would do the job. And for those who are, don't know or learning, you get that silicone grease and you put it around the threads and you just get it on there and then that's going to secure it in there. And you got yourself a nice eyedropper. When you, if you use it as an eyedropper, where do you put the ink? Put it right down the throat of the barrel right down in here. This whole barrel will fill up and I'll, at the end I will tell you how much ink the barrel will hold. I will tell you how much ink the converter will hold and the cartridge. So, the nip sizes that are available for the Edison pins are extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 or 1.5 stub italic. And for those who would like to up their game, you can upgrade to an 18K rolling plated gold nib. So, and I, I'm not sure if that's a, I think 150 or 175. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere in that line. All of Edison pens are handmade in Milo, Ohio by the man himself, Brian Gray, and they are each unique. Okay, for some compatible ink cartridges, I'll mention some of the names that I have written down here on my sheet sheet list. Diamond Short Standard International Cartridge and uh, the Long International Cartridge and the uh, Von Fiber Castell Caveco, Pelican, Vanscotti, uh, those are the ones that I'm familiar with that will work with the Edison Collier. The length overall closed just like it's it. It's 150 millimeters or 5.9 inches. The cap length is 71.3 millimeters or 2.8 inches. The nib length is 23.1 millimeters or 0 0.9 inches. The overall weight for this fountain pen is 25 grams or 0 0.9 ounces. Here we go with the ink capacity. Are we ready? The maximum ink capacity for a cartridge is 1.75 mils 
The converter holds 1.21 mils, and the eyedropper, folks, is a whopping 4.34 mils. The diameter of the body, 14.9 millimeters or 0 0.6 inches with the cap. 20.9 millimeters, 0 0.8 inches. That's the cap. The grip, it's 9.9 .9 millimeters or 0 0.4 inches. So this is the Edison Collier Blue Steel, and it just screams beauty. Magnificent polished resin with a nice silver chrome clip. Not a lot of hardware, but just enough to make this pen scream with, hey, here I am. Boom. Just a nice pen. Uh, on the top, nothing going on there at the bottom. Kind of like a cigar shape. Unscrew the cap. There's nothing sharp in the way here. And the grip, the grip isn't big but it's not small and look at that beautiful blue I have small fingers and I hold it right here and if you need to hold it up here you can uh, there's nothing that's going to make your fingers feel uncomfortable and I have ridden with this pen oh I don't know a full two days uh, there's the, the cartridge that's in it And that's going to do it. Now I'll compare it with another pen. Here is a Lamy. Jin, I'm sorry. Here's a Jin Hao. Uh, and the uh, Edison pen, of course, is more girth and much bigger. And we can compare that to the Noodlers Ahab. Still, the Edison is bigger and more girth. I would say it would probably fit the uh, oversized. Here's a Jin Hao 750. Still bigger, longer a little bit, and still more girth. So we're ahead here. And here's that lamb. Lam Lamgo Lamo, how do you pronounce that by chance? Lambling Chinese pen right here on the band. Oh, Lingmo Lingmo. Here's the Lingmo pen right here. So, Mr. Lingmo. So that just kind of gives you an idea that the pen is a nice, good-sized pen. Uh, last but not least, I'll just put the Delta right there. So the Delta probably would, yeah, it uh, has more girth in the cap. The Edison is still just tabs longer and... Probably the Delta has maybe a little bit more girth than the Edison, but not by, by much. That's probably the closest I can get to it. Last but not least, the Alambi All-Star, one of my favorite pens. Uh, still, the Edison, still bigger girth length. But uh, I hope that gives you a an idea on the sides of this pen. Now for the writing sample. Here we go with the writing sample. Hopefully I'll have enough ink to do this. God willing, let's try it. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I have. I am just blessed that I am here with you guys today. And I'm having just a great time. It, I'm having a hell of a ride. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, the ink.
It's nine. Uh, this is a one point five. And uh, that's sapphire blue and some writing. And that nice, I just love the way this pen lays the ink down. Doesn't have any issues at all. And it is wet. So, line variation. And that's about it. Not going to get much. But here's your lines going down the width is of course wider and then when you go across thinner I kind of like that that's kind of cool I am feeling it all right folks that's gonna take care of this review on this wonderful Edison Collier Blue Steel fountain pen. This is a pen worth having. I think anybody that owns this pen would tell you they really do enjoy this pen. Uh, I have a orange one with a swirl that I'll be doing a review later. All right, that's going to take care of this review. It's time to get going, get moving here. I've got a thousand and one things to do and only so many hours left in the night. So with that said, hey, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Stay tuned. A lot of great stuff is uh, working. Last but not least, here in this package is giveaway. No, they're not Jin Hals. They're not uh, heroes, Bowers, they're some nice pins, the kind of pins I use every day, and I've used them in my rotation, so, but these are for special occasions, I'm thinking, uh, Christmas or New Year's, but more later about that, all right, folks, now it's time to say goodbye to all my company, M-I-C-K-E-Y, la, 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 Peace, love, I will jam with you guys later. I'm out of here.